What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com and yep, it's a red cat. Red cat Wendigo, as you saw in the thumbnail title. But yeah, 110 scale. This thing can run on a two or three S LiPo. It has a 3300 KV brushless motor, 25 kilogram servo, all steel gears that are in it, and also 60 amp hobby wing electronic speed controller that's in here. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the bag. So you get the little fire extinguishers, you get a couple of those, you get a little jerry can, you get these little ramps. I think these are for helping kind of getting out of s sticky situations if I'm not mistaken. Uh, these little black things that are there, those are gonna be for your LEDs. The only thing is Red Cat didn't include screws. Red Cat, what happened? You forgot something. You forgot the screws. Uh, there's your little wrench as well and also those little shock ends that are here too. Those are gonna be, if I'm not mistaken, just to kind of raise the car up or lower it down. Uh, binding plug, in case you, you can look at the instructions on that one. And speaking of other instructions for the electronic speed controller, your waterproof sensorless brushless electronic speed controller. Uh, your manual. So your manual goes over things like uh, the slipper clutch. So you can make it so it does slip the clutch or you can eliminate the, the slipper clutch altogether so you don't have any slip. And then also, there you go. There's your example. There it is in front of you. And then also just other information as well that kind of check it out. I did want to kind of show you guys too. So here's the OG as far as Gen 8 tires that are the Super Swampers, the Interco tires. And I just want to kind of show you because at first I was like, are you sure those are bigger tires? He's like, yeah, they're definitely bigger tires. I'm referring to Red Cat, my dealer, uh, talking to him. He's like, yeah, they're definitely bigger tires. I was like, okay, just want to make sure because they look the same size, but they did make them bigger. So really cool. It's hard to pick up on pictures and cameras. Here's the radio. So rubber grip, you know, nothing too much has changed with this one, but uh, four double A's at the bottom. I did put four double A's in it so that we can kind of see the light come on. I do like this part of it too, because before it was really blinding to the eyes and they've muted that out more so it's not so intense. And we can actually see what we're trying to adjust than before these blinding LEDs would be in your face and you couldn't see nothing. So nice, there you go. All your little adjustments too. For your All right, let's take a look at this awesome truck too there's the body clips i did take them off and they do have body clip protectors so we don't scratch up the body when putting it back on or taking them off and speaking of looking just kind of looking at the front of it here too you can see we can put two leds in each one of these little light buckets and then we have in the bumper as well we can put them in there again we just need the screws so when we do put the leds in there and we put that little retainer that holds it on we got to have something to hold the retainer on and Red Cat forgot it. So anyway, Red Cat, you forgot. And I, I do like that where it's got their little logo that's on it. So pretty cool. Let's give you like a little spin tour of this. I do like the styling of it. I do like the color. It looks better in person, in my opinion. So I was like, yeah, man, that thing looks pretty dope, man. I'm digging it. A little GPS. Let's see if we can get that in the lighting a little bit better. So Red Cat, I'm assuming this is probably Arizona. That's where Red Cat's stationed. And it is adjustable here too. That's pretty cool. I like it. What up, dude? Um, and then let's go ahead and look at the, the back end of it here. We got our fuel cell, faux fuel cell. <laughs> Definitely faux when it comes to the, the jack on there. Uh, little fans, so so called, uh, and a little radiator. So pretty cool. Like it. Uh, bumper. So the bumper, the rear bumper, does have where you could put some red LEDs in the back of there, too. You can see our axles. Pretty beefy looking, if I say. And uh, I do say they are kind of beefy looking. Now I will, that's kind of annoying, right? Um, but that can be fixed really quick. You could probably put a little bit of uh, tape on there just to kind of buffer it, some little foam or whatnot, just in those spots that would just keep it from making any noise. Or you can just let it go the way it is. Let's get this body off of here. There's the other side of it, flip side. You can see all that. That kind of moved kind of quick, but there you go. Now, we can, we can check it all out when it comes to the front end of this thing. Again, 25 kilograms, tells you right there. The Hexfly 3300 KV motor. It is a 540 size motor. 60 amp electronic speed controller. There's your on and off switch there. Waterproof, shows it says waterproof. So we're good. Uh, 14 gauge wire with a Dean T style connection on it. Battery straps. I do like the Velcro instead of like a bar or anything like that. Velcro is just universal, so we can get quite a few different types of batteries in it. 
And it looks like we could make adjustments if necessary. You can see other spots where you can loop your Velcro in. So in case you have maybe a shorter pack or whatever like that, you could make those adjustments. So that's pretty nice. The shocks themselves, they are aluminum, very nice. And they are adjustable. So they're threaded bodies. So you can stiffen up the suspension or you know, make some other adjustments to it. Uh, speaking of the shocks, the rear shocks are bigger than the front. Yes. If you look at it, maybe you can see it's kind of kind of hot rod looking style to it where it's kind of does this it slants but once you put a battery in there too and then of course once you get going it's going to squat anyway it's going to kind of level itself out so not a big deal so let me go ahead and show you what's underneath it um, before we do that there's a the little receiver box we'll flip it around so you guys can take a look at it too steel frame so pretty rugged on that all the linkages too i do like them that they're kind of anodized like black what have you that gun metal looks awesome and so this is where your transfer case is and it's flat just like on the gen 8 axe edition now this one i have here looks like it's kind of like a clone of the axe it's got everything that was on the axe edition from red cat the gen 8 scout too but um just to kind of show you here this is that little you can see that little bump right there that is how it is on the gen 8 first edition and then once the axe edition they got rid of that and it looks just like this so I'll just kind of give you guys that information anyhow but yeah everything looks pretty good on here can't wait to run this thing and uh, i'm sure you guys were like hey man i want to see this thing running now we'll have a video on it so bear with me on that one and i'll get that for you because like i said we can run i'm gonna probably run this thing on a 2s and a 3s so i'll bring two batteries so we can run them both we can see a little bit difference in speed i was told that uh just like kind of flip over a little bit so i was thinking like man I, maybe i could put some uh, red cat kaiju tires on it but uh, i'll show you real quick there's the kaiju tire uh it does fit and it just it looks like it's going to clear it looks a little bit weird the offset's not really far enough out for my liking so it looks like the tires in a little bit more now i uh, just want to kind of tell you too is that this does have a 12 millimeter hex and is aluminum so a little bit of info on that part of it also anyway I appreciate all you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. I'll put the links down in the description below. If you guys want to get one of these awesome Wendigos from us, support the, the family. I uh, definitely appreciate you guys. Plenty of stuff on our website to check out and sign up for our newsletter. And we'll catch you real soon. You guys take care. Peace. We'll get a running video for you guys. So thumbs up it. Do it. Peace, guys. Later.